Today, I'm going to be doing three paintings at the same time. I have three gesso boards here. They are size eight by eight, and we are going to do all of them simultaneously and see how it goes. Now, I understand this might raise some eyebrows, like, why would you do three paintings at once? I kind of want them to feel uniform, and so I think doing all three at once will help. I'm gonna take my jolly time though and just hop back and forth between all three because we're using oil paint for this series and oil paint dries slowly. So as I wait for each painting to dry, I can just hop back and forth between all of them and it will be great. Anyway, I have all my paints right here. I have my gesso boards. Let's get started. I need to find my burnt sienna. Here it is. So you know me, the first thing I like to do is an undercoat. It feels so satisfying to be doing three paintings of the same size at the same time. So I hope this goes well. I thought about doing four. These things smell so good. My massive paint palette, have it right here. And what we're gonna do is use some burnt sienna to cover these canvases. First underpainting, done. Let's do the remaining two canvases. Okay, I'm gonna let this dry for a little bit. We're gonna come back and start the water. Let's talk about these paintings. So the process of making these was actually quite lengthy because I got the idea for this series back in 2021 and I bought a GoPro camera, flew all the way to Hawaii and took a bunch of reference photos, a bunch of video footage and just gathered as much material as I could while I was there. For future painting projects. And I knew I wanted to do a collection of paintings where I am swimming underwater in looking up at the surface. So I'm looking at the outside world from the vantage point of being underwater. And I thought this idea was really cool. This Painting series is essentially titled Under the Surface, so yeah. But this is like a view that we don't get to see very often unless we're swimming. And everything is so distorted, but at the same time, everything is so vivid and colorful and beautiful. And I just wanted to capture that movement and that distorted beauty that shows a glimpse of our world from up above while showcasing mostly water <laughs> because I love painting water. So that's kind of the background for this whole mini collection. It's like a painting trio, I guess. Let's talk a little bit about the process. So I'm using eight by eight gesso board and you saw I did my burnt sienna underpainting. I'm going to answer this question in pretty much every video because a lot of folks 
who come across my channel ask me why I do these underpaintings if they don't bother to even show through. And the answer to that question, because it's a great question, it does actually show through a little bit, but it's really hard to see on the camera probably. But my purpose, I want the warmth of that to show through a little bit. And if you look around the palm trees especially, you can see this warm halo around them. And that's because I left blank spaces for the underpainting to show through. So there you go. If you miss spots, it's a really great way for the underpainting to have your back and add some funky style. I thought this whole thing was so fun, by the way, because I did all three paintings at once. And I did that because I wanted my style to stay the same between the three. You know, I am a style hopper, so sometimes some of my water paintings look a little different than my other ones. But another reason, the colors. So I took all of these at the same time of day and I wanted the colors to pretty much be the same from piece to piece. So you see here, I'm just sliding paintings around. Another reason why I did this too, and maybe this will be encouraging to you, as artists, we go through that weird, awkward stage and sometimes it's like, ugh, maybe I just wanna give up and walk away from this. I'm like so over it. Or other times maybe you're just like, I'm just not feeling this right now. Like I want to create, but not this. <laughs> Let me make this an unfinished project that I forget about. Well, I feel like the beauty with doing multiple paintings at once is if you hit that stage, scoot it aside, work on a different one and return to it later. And that's what I did. And yeah, I feel like I kind of didn't really hit an awkward stage with these ones though. Like they were all so exciting to me that I couldn't wait to do that little switchy thing and go back to the next one. And yeah, it was just this weird game almost. And I really enjoyed it. So I figured I would share that tidbit with you. Now there's something else I want to share. I am making a limited edition print run of these pieces. And I will touch more on it at the end of the video and actually show you what the prints look like and everything. But each painting in this little trio will be hand numbered and signed on the back. And there will be 50 of each print at mirabiler.com. So if you want one for yourself or if you want the original paintings, mirabiler.com. Just wanted to throw that out there because I'm not that good at letting people know that I sell prints and stuff and a lot of folks ask about it. So I'm trying to talk about it more because I do do that. <laughs> I really enjoyed just all the layers with this piece, by the way. Like, I haven't really talked about this a lot with oil painting, but I've started taking a more natural route. So I avoid additives as much as possible. I only use walnut oil pretty much at the very beginning to thin out my underpainting and that's it. So it takes a long time for my oil paintings to dry and I spent so long on these pieces because I would have to walk away and let them dry. And sometimes that would be days, you know? And then when this was done, I let them dry for like three or four weeks. And yeah, now I'm finally showing you the video because I don't know, I just kind of wanted them to dry first and enjoy having them to myself for a while. But here they are. I will varnish these, but I kind of just wanted to film this and show you everything first. Anyway, yeah, I feel like I just had a lot of word vomit, but thoroughly enjoyed this painting process. I love painting water so incredibly much. Hi, it's a few weeks later and I gave these paintings ample time to dry 
Everything is set now. I painted the edges. So I'm gonna show you a final reveal. I actually painted the edges of all of them this really pretty blue color to match the front. So yeah, something really cool about these paintings though. Let me show you. I made limited edition prints for each painting and I tried to make the print size true to the painting. It's maybe a half an inch smaller. And I did that because then you can see all the detail and the brush strokes and the color and everything is pretty accurate to the originals. So I'm really excited about that. So yeah, I will have limited edition prints in my shop at mirabyler.com. These are super limited edition though. There's only 50 of each print in this run. So yeah, if you want one, mirabyler.com. Let me show you some of the other ones. I'm so excited about this. Like this is a passion project that I have been working on for a really long time. I actually went to Hawaii myself to take these pictures. I swam underwater with a GoPro camera. And yeah, this is this print and this painting. I really like the bright pinks and stuff on the horizon too. Like where you see where the water would meet the sky. Anyway, with the print, it's cool because you can see all the brush strokes. So here's the final print and painting. I'm pretty happy with how all of these turned out. I'm going to hand sign and number all of these on the back so you know which print of the print run you're getting and they're signed and everything. This whole project holds a special place in my heart though because Maui is one of my favorite places in the world. And the fact that I got to go there, I got to take these pictures and then come home and paint them meant a lot to me. Now, for me, painting is all in the journey, the process, not the final piece. So with that being said, I will probably list the originals in my shop too, if you would like the originals. Thank you for hanging out and watching this. I had so much fun painting this and I hope it inspires you to maybe tackle a project that you feel passionate about, but maybe you've just been putting it off. I put this one off for far too long and I am so glad that I finally did it. As always, have a beautiful day and I will see you next time. Bye.